Hey, welcome to a tool test video, or maybe we shouldn't call it a tool test. These are actually component parts. Uh, have you ever seen these things? They're, uh, whoops, oh man, there you go. See, I'm mixing them up already. But you got these, uh, these items, all right? You can see that well, but that is, uh, has a little solder in the middle. It's got some shrink tubing. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is uh, making a joint here. Uh, when we make this joint, we are going to uh, take the uh, proper size of these, stick it in here, and uh, make it go together. So we push this together. Uh, looks like that's not the right size. Got to go a little bigger. But basically, we're going to connect these up, and we're going to see uh, see how these work by uh, tucking them through and doing them with a heat gun here. Uh, so let's get the camera set up. And let's get you set up so you can see it and uh, stay tuned. Don't miss it. Okay, so what we're doing uh, here, we're putting these together. Uh, looks like we're going to have to strip this wire a little bit more. So we're going to go get our wire strippers and we're going to strip that wire so it's like this one. And we're going to put this on there and we're going to heat shrink it. We got the, uh, got the heat gun. <laughs> Okay, so we got those stripped, and what we are doing here is we are doing the black to the red because the blacks in these four conductors are uh, numbered. So what we're going to do is put this on the black like this, put it through like that. You can see it's part way through. I'm going to put this black on here, and again put it part way through just like that. We're going to fire up the heat gun and let's see how this works. That didn't work a lot. Let's try heat higher heat. Not sure how this works actually, but we're seeing how it works now. Is that enough? We don't know. Uh, doesn't look like it. Looks like we got a problem there, but maybe, maybe that'll be okay. I don't know. It looks like it's coming away there. Uh, Got to cool off some. Yeah, seems pretty tight. Uh, we'll do another one and then we'll put a battery across there and see if the light lights up. So let's get another one out. Well, that looks like it worked. Wonder if we got a connection. Oh, where's my battery? So how do those solder connections work? Here we go. Light test. Woo, yeah, look at that. It does work. So that solder connection did heat shrink onto there really well. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some heat shrink tubing on here and cover cover all that joint up. So let's do that next. All right, so we got to work to try to stretch these into there. Not sure this is going to be, yeah, it looks like we're going to get it, huh? I'm having a hard time getting this to go up right here. There's a little bump. 
sticking out. We got to get that in there. There we go. That over. Oh, once you got that on there, oh, we can heat shrink it again. So there you go, we've heat shrunk the uh, fittings and we've heat shrunk it again. So that's sealed up real good so when we get our, uh, it gets wet under here, you know, I mean you're driving it through the mud and through the dirt and it gets wet, so uh, there you go. There you go, heat shrink tubing, heat shrink fittings. Looks like the tool test is good on those, I'd recommend buying them, they're better than the crimp on ones. Uh, not as easy, but better. Uh, wet applications, I do it. If it up top for the lights, I might just use the crimp ones and shrink tube over it. I don't know. But we'll see when we get there. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Post the notifications on. There was your tool test for the heat shrink tubing. These are the items right, right here. These are the items that you get. You buy them. You can buy a big kit of them. Relatively cheap online. Looks like you heat it up. It clamps it, and then you heat the center here, and uh, it solders it. So, just like new. Hey, look at that. We got the lights on the back of the Jeep. Got our roof rack on. Well, let's go see the front. Got the front side done, too. Woo, look at that there. So, we got the front lights on and the back lights on. We got them all wired real nice. We got to do the switches yet. That'll be the next video. So, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, post notifications on. The roof rack is on and assembled with lights on it. Next, wire up the lights.